Fear fall to Roy Varisht, Karja Iskri is Shalgari. I guess on Bouti Shaw, Ta Quil Tiram on to Kagomdiv. Is Federia Usad O Tuskejera Nit on Tesor. I guess Kahamara Gulche Fear Usadok, I guess Erfoktol. So Fangi Lomsa Lahishin. Now the tying of this fly um, is, I suppose, moderate level of difficulty. Not uh, difficult for anyone who's an experienced fly tire, but for a beginner it might be a little bit of a handful. But um, practice makes perfect, as they say. Now the materials I use for tying this fly, the hook first off. This is the hook I use. Now this is one of a batch of around 5,000 hooks that I bought from a guy at a game fair in England quite some time ago. So I, there was no maker's name on them. They're a very good hook. Basically, I think they could best be described as a long shank with a moderate curve. So uh, maybe you get some of those clink hammer hooks that would serve the same purpose. Unfortunately, I'm unable to tell you the manufacturer's name but you get the idea anyway it's a long a longer than standard shank and just a slight curve um, now the other materials that I use to tie this fly are deer hair and CDC two brilliant um, materials used separately but in this case I'm going to use them both together which gives a particular efficacy to this fly. So I'm going to tie this fly using Semperfly wax tread in 80 and it's um, orange color. Now I'll talk a bit more about the body color in a while but suffice to say we start just a little bit back from the eye and make our way down along the hook shank and we go a bit around that curve and now I'm going to work my way back up again and that is the body it's really slim and thin you'll notice it's very very thin and slim and that is consistent with a real fly if you pick up a real fly, any sort of little olive fly, um, and have a look at it, you will notice that the body on it is extremely thin and slim and delicate. And a lot of the time, flies can be overdressed. So, that little slim body is just perfect. And the body color in this case is orange, but you can change the color to suit um, whatever fly you consider is hatching at the time. You can use olive or black or red or green or whatever body color. The principal thing is that you keep it nice and slim as like this. Now, the next thing here is my CDC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three or four feathers together. That's two. Three. I think three should be enough. And that's what you're looking for. Now the length that you tie it in is roughly two-thirds the body length. So you go make one turn around and then on the second one you tighten down. And I'm making two or three turns in that direction. And now I'm going to cut the CDC at an angle. I won't cut it straight across. If I cut it straight across I'll create a step and although it may not seem significant it may well be. So I'm cutting it at an angle and that will give me somewhat of a taper on the body as you can see there. Now I'm coming back up. Now my CDC I lift vertically and tie in front of it. And that will have the effect of getting it to stand up vertically like that. Now that fly, um, you could use it just as is. But I think the addition of the deer hair 
actually adds to the effectiveness of this fly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out a little bit of deer hair and about that much. That's the best way I can describe it. And now I'm going to put it in here into my hair stacker and I'm going to tap it on the table. And the difficulty here now is to get it from here into a tying position without shifting all the ends of it and making them uneven. So that's one, two, three, three moves to get it to there. That's where I want it to be. And now I swap it to this hand. I'm approximating the length of the CDC. So the deer hair and the CDC are roughly the same length. And now I'm going to cut it and tie it in. A couple of turns around it and then tighten down. So now there we have our CDC and our deer hair together. And what you have is the CDC was heading that direction, the deer hair heading that direction. And we have both of them meeting like this together which gets them which binds them together and makes for a super effective wing and now I'm going to whip finish and just give it a an extra little knot just for security's sake and that my friends is um a brilliant dry fly. Now I've tied that in a size 16. You can tie it in larger or smaller sizes, whatever the case may be. Um, it's the actual effect of the, the CDC and the deer hair together just gives a brilliant profile and a nice slim body. It makes for a beautiful fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a couple of photographs here now of the same fly with different color bodies and you can see um, just a little bit of variety if you like. So as I said in the beginning in Irish um, you can use this fly from the very beginning of the season all the way through to the end and it's brilliantly effective. In fact it, it, it's a fly that you could use just exclusively throughout the season. Just vary the body color and the size and it will work 99% of the time. So Shin Shin Akhaja Iyaskri, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe you found it instructive. Don't be without this fly in your fly box if you like to fish a dry fly. It's absolutely brilliant. So once again, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks very much for joining me and Gadi Kachasfer Erkele Arishmid Bigi Eg Iyaskrakt. Slan Gafoel.